Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A to Z of Python. Today we're going to be talking about something called non-local variables. You're probably wondering what non-local is. You may have never heard of it, uh, but that's okay. By the end of this video, you'll know pretty much everything you need to know to implement these uh, if you ever find a reason to do so. So let's really just jump right into it and talk about variable scope first of all. Let's start by just defining a variable with a name in it. Like we'll just call it Joe Williams. And you might not think it, this is actually a global, globally defined variable. It has a global scope. And what that means is this variable, because it's not uh, inside of a function declaration or a class or whatever, it is available to pretty much anything uh, that would want to use this variables. Uh, so I could just do print x and we know right off the bat this is not going to cause a problem because this is within the scope of, of the variable itself. What we could also do is define a function called print name and we could do print x and What's interesting here is that even though the x is not local to the function declaration, it will actually uh, print that out. Well, we got to call it first. All right, there we go. So that's kind of interesting, right? Because you would kind of expect your, you to need to define this within the function itself for uh, x to be able to be referenced, you know, but it's not because this is a global variable again, and you can access that variable pretty much anywhere, like we said earlier. But if we try to make some changes to this variable, we'll encounter what becomes the issue here. So let's say we want to uh, make this Joe Williams Jr. Okay, so what we would normally do is just do x plus equals and we do junior and we would run that and since this is global you might expect that it prints just fine you might expect it to print Joe Williams here and then to print Joe Williams Jr. here but when we run this we get a problem saying that X is referenced before assignment. And what does that mean? Well, global variables that are not explicitly designed, uh, declared, excuse me, as global can only be read. Uh, they cannot be modified. So everything works fine when we're just reading this variable and printing it out. But when we try to modify it by adding junior to it, we get a problem because you can't modify global variables that aren't explicitly defined as global. So what I could do is I could type in global x and that will define this as a global variable. So this x here is going to be referencing this global variable here and we run this. It does work. There we go. Let's add a space in there. And that's how you would typically use a global variable if you didn't want to pass this in to your function. Uh, but what you could do is, you know, normally you would not you do this. You would not uh, make this a global variable. It's not really a good practice. You would just make this name and you would make this name and when you call the function you'd pass in x and you would get the same results, right? So global does seem like a bit of a shortcut because after all, it doesn't require to pass any parameters. It, it is a little simpler to, to implement, especially if you're new. But this modifies all the way back here. And if we try to uh, print this later on, so let's say we get on here and print this again. You realize that even though this is printing what we would think would be this outer scope here, because it was last modified here, uh, as a global variable, it remains that way. So we can no longer reference this original declaration anywhere throughout our program because it's been 
modified as a global variable through print name. Okay, so that's fine. So what if we wanted to uh, take a variable that's not global, but we wanted to change it down the line a little bit. So what I'm talking about now is what's called a non-local variable. So let's uh, talk about, I guess, local variables for a second uh, and the difference between a global and a local variable. So this is global uh, for referencing, you know, for printing out or whatever, uh, but it's not uh, defined, if we take this out, is not defined to be modified. It cannot be modified. So let's say we do x equals Bob and we do we take this out and we print X here which will be Joe Williams and then we've redefined X down here so let's see what happens when we run that all right so we get Joe Williams and we get Bob and the reason that that works is because variables defined within a function are local to that function so this x here is a completely separate variable than this one here they're not associated at all now this is not a good programming practice because you might later on in your code think that you're modifying this one when you're actually modifying this one or vice versa so PyCharm and other IDEs will give you a warning saying that it shadows the name from an outer scope. And that means that somewhere previously in your code, so right here, you've defined a variable with the same name. And at some point, as your program gets more complex, you're going to reference X and you're going to use it and modify it. And you're going to be making changes to the wrong one. It's going to happen. And that's why it's, it's a good idea to use more descriptive variable names and make them different for local variables and then variables with a global scope. That way you're not accidentally changing the wrong one later down the road. Now, let's say we have a another, so let's change this to print first name, or we'll just call it first name. And then we have something called second name another function that we've defined inside the first name function and we do x equals smith all right with the space there so it looks good and then we print x here and we call first name so we run this function which is going to make x equal bob it's going to print x and then it's going to uh, let's call the second function here, which will assign X to Smith and print that out. What do you think will happen now? All right, actually, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this all together. I will leave that there. And there we go. All right. So now we get Bob and then we get Smith. And the reason that's happening is because this is considered local to this function scope. This is considered local uh, to this, the scope of this function. And again, all three of these X's have are different variables, even though they have the same name, they're not the same variable. So if I wanted to take Bob and add Smith to that, we can demonstrate that it's not the same by running that. And we'll get an, an error saying that the local variable has been referenced before assignment, meaning that we're trying to modify it before it's assigned. And that shows that this X is not getting passed down here uh, because if it, if it were, we wouldn't have this error when we try to add Smith to it. So what we can do is something called non-local and then we type X and if we run that now we get Bob here and then we get Bob Smith here so what happened well the non-local declaration tells Python that X is actually talking about 
the x from the next uh, global or the next uh, larger scope, the scope uh, of directly outside of this function. Okay, so it means that this x will mean uh, will be the same x as the one previously defined uh, before it. Okay, so this is the first the outer scope you would call it here, and this would be the inner scope here. This makes x equal to the outer scope declaration here, and then we can modify it from within. And so I can go down here and I can do uh, print x, and we can run this, and we get three different names here all of a sudden. So what's happening is the first x declaration, which will end up being Joe Williams, is actually never modified, okay, because the second x here is uh, locally scoped to this function uh, or this, you know, series of indentations, everything from here down, this x is essentially uh, locked into this right here. It's really locked into just here. And therefore, when we change it to Bob, it doesn't mess with this one, okay? So once we're outside of all this, so namely down here, this x is going to once again refer to the first one. Now we have the second print statement here, which is going to refer to the local uh, version of x, which is Bob. And the second uh, function, the nested function here, since we've, we've declared this as a non-local x, we can add Smith to it and we print it a third time. It's taking Bob, it's adding Smith, and it's going to print Bob Smith. So we will see in order, the first print prints the local variable. The second print prints the non-local variable, which has been modified uh, with the last name on there. And then the third print is actually referencing the global declaration at the top, which is Joe Williams. Okay, so again, if you are nesting functions and you want to reference a variable that was defined in the outer scope, you can use non-local to basically force Python to kick back up a notch and one level up and there it is. Okay, so it will now be Bob here and we can do Bob plus equals Smith and we get Bob Smith. So that's it for non-local variables. That's how it works. And I hope that clears some things up. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for tuning in.